Kidney stone disease, also known as nephrolithiasis, is one of the most common urological conditions around the world. Urinary tract consists of the kidneys, bladder, and the two ureters that connect the kidneys with the bladder. Urinary tract stones are more common among males, and the usual age at presentation is between 20 to 40 years. Urinary tract stones are commonly found along the ureters, although they may be seen in the kidneys and bladder as well. There are four major types of urinary stones. Calcium stones, which account for more than 75% of cases, uric acid stones, struvite stones, also known as triple stones, and cysteine stones. In addition to these, there are several other less common types as well. Common causes for the formation of urinary stones include low fluid intake or dehydration, family history of urinary stone disease, metabolic abnormalities like excess calcium in urine, high uric acid levels in blood and urine, which also causes gout, long-term alterations in urinary pH, chronic urinary tract infections, and certain drugs such as antiviral agents, traenterin, silicate, and sulfa drugs. If the stone is located within the kidneys or it is too small, the person may not experience any symptom at all. Symptoms usually appear when the stones pass down the ureter and obstruct the urine outflow. Renal colic is the term used to describe the pain caused by urinary stones. It is the most excruciatingly painful event a person can endure. This pain is often described as being worse than childbirth, gunshot wounds, broken bones, or burns. The pain is initially felt at the sides and back of the abdomen and often radiates to the groin area. It may last for about 3 to 18 hours. In addition to renal colic, patients may also have nausea and vomiting, increased urinary frequency, pain during urination, also known as dysuria, hematuria or blood in urine, increased heart rate, and high blood pressure. Fever is usually not a symptom of urinary stone disease. However, a person may experience fever if the stone is complicated with an infection. If the stone is obstructing the urine outflow, it may cause backflow of the urine towards the kidneys, which is known as hydronephrosis. Persistent hydronephrosis can lead to reduced urine output, urinary tract infections, and kidney damage.